cleanup day here up at the Northern Michigan Garden and Rod and Logan are right now just digging in and getting rid of all of the annuals that are in the garden beds. We're gonna also clean out the leaves, trim back a bunch of perennials and shrubs and just get everything ready. That way next spring when we come back, it'll all be ready for us. And the only thing we'll need to do at that point is get the annuals planted and maybe some mulch laid back down. So let's go ahead and see what they're doing in the gardens. So the first thing Rod's doing is he's going in and taking a shovel and digging out all of the annuals. So we had sun patients that lined this bed. There also was a few nemesia in here. Um, God, what else? Very little petunias because the petunias didn't do so great in this spot this year. So we decided to go mostly with sun patients and they did really well. So the hard thing with this is as you can see when he's digging them out, there's huge root balls. So that plant is super heavy. So he's getting it dug out and then him and Logan are throwing it into the bucket here of the tractor. They tried uh, laying down a tarp and loading up the tarp, but that was not working well, especially when they had to drag it up the big hill to the front yard to the dump trailer. So we're going this route, trying the tractor and seeing if this will work better. The only problem is, is the bucket's not that big, so it doesn't hold a ton of, of the um, plants they're digging out. So it's gonna have to happen uh, quite a few trips up and down this hill. We got down to 27 degrees last night, so that was um, that was really cold. It's been probably only the last week or so that we've had some hard frosts that have finally killed off all of these annuals in the bed. So it is the beginning of November right now, and this just happened last night. Oh, really? Last night was the first time it frosted. Oh, so Rod is telling me last night was actually the first night it got cold enough to to kill off these plants. I thought it had happened earlier in the week. Obviously, we're not up here all week, so we don't know. But Rod said last night when we came, these annuals were still looking pretty good. And the 27 degrees last night did a number on them. So not bad being November and uh, keeping the annuals looking great uh, this long in the season. able to make it up this incline. Uh, this past summer we had the, the tar resurface so we weren't sure if it's going to be too slippery or not. Uh, but pretty much this area right where you're seeing the stairs that is the steepest incline. So once he got up and past those stairs I knew whew good we're gonna this is gonna actually be able to work for us. look at this bed. There you go, ornamental grasses right at the base with the trimmer. Kind of saw it back and forth and you're through. Look how easy that was.
Another thing you can do is tie a rope around large ornamental grasses before you trim. That way you can easily dispose of the whole pile at one time. Can do hydrangeas. Typically we wouldn't trim these in the fall, but he's giving them just a light trim, so we'll see how they do. like now. So this next level, there's a lot of hostas and they are basically blending right in with the leaves so he's just going kind of right under the leaves there and trimming off the foliage of the hosta this would probably be easier if we'd rake away the leaves to start with Whew. found a friend in the leaves so you may be wondering what the orange netting is around our neighbor's tree that is a rhododendron and she puts that around there to keep the deer off um, and keep the deer from eating the buds so that's a really good idea to do something like that for rhododendron so this is pretty much all perennials in this bed and he's just running his hedge trimmer just right along the base of the ground to trim anything that may be in here so he's gonna do just a light trim on the lavender, just removing the spikes of flowers. about six to eight inches now that he removed those top flower spikes. Daylilies to the ground. Monarda to the ground. So while we were just trimming out that bad Logan was behind us, I'm sure you could hear him, it's so loud here today. Um, blowing all the leaves and such off of the garden that we had previously trimmed. And there he goes again. Look how clean it looks. All of the debris is gone. This is the north side of the garden, and this year it didn't do super great. I don't know, we have to try to do something different. This is a very dry, shady area. And um, the plants just didn't get, didn't get very big. So next year we'll either water it a little bit more, maybe fertilize a little bit better. I don't know, we'll have to see. But um, you can see the heuchera, they did okay. Which is a heuchera like dry shade. So those, those did thrive. We've got some, a stilby that did okay a few pulmonaria that did all right as well but there was a lot in this bed and really there's not a lot that is remaining at this point in season rods up there cleaning out it's kind of like a little window box it's not but it's only about a 12 inch by 10 or 8 foot little area and that's got hackland of cloa grass in and he's just trimming that hackland of cloa grass back to just a couple inches. You can see it throwing, throwing off the tops down into this bed here. So he's removing any of the leaves. That hackling of cloa grass did really good in that spot. It was just kind of a nice soft little filler that created um, 
kind of like a nice little border in that bed. So I'm glad that we did that there and that that thrived in that location. Come back to the little area. There's another grass just coming back to the ground. The half on a tall grass. People asked about Air, uh, Sun King. That's just what he turned back to the ground right there with the uh, Aurelia Sun King. He's not going to trim the uh, um, turn to Bernera, trimming the Pullman area. He's not going to trim the Hucra though. He's going to leave those. Or at least that's what he told me. All right, time for me to move or I'm gonna get nailed from the leaf blower. You just never realize how long yard work is going to take. So we've been at this for, oh, probably a good eight hours today and there's still a lot more to do. You can see here we're getting our pots emptied out as well. They were still looking pretty good, but next time we come up, we'll probably do our winter porch pots. Hopefully the leaves will all be done by then because, man, this has been a day of lots of leaf raking and garden bed cleanup. So the next bed we're actually heading to is the one here in the front of the cottage. And one thing that we've noticed, I don't know, pro tip, maybe y'all know this, I don't know. But what Rod's been doing is he's been going through and just pulling out all the annuals, obviously and then trimming back all the perennials. And he's doing that before we go and blow the leaves out. Because with all of those perennials and shrubs being tall, it creates an obstacle um, for getting the leaves blown out. So the shorter we can get the plants trimmed to, the easier it is to get all these leaves blown out of the spot. So this is quite a mess right now. And the first thing he's ripping out here, more of those sun patients. The canthemum, Daisy May. This is an anemone. Both are being trimmed back to the ground. Behind it there, that's a rhododendron. So we're not going to trim that rhododendron because that blooms off of the old growth. So if we trim it, we're going to lose our blooms for the season next year. Now that he got them trimmed, that corner anyway, the leaves are coming out a little bit easier. Now we got to get all this stuff trimmed too, but at least it kind of helped start anyways to get that area there cleared out a little bit. Along the back of the house, those are all lavender. Right now he's trimming bobo hydrangea, trimming them in about half. Bobo blooms off of the new growth, so we're not going to worry about not getting blooms next year. We will get blooms. I wonder if we get the big green bucket. My biggest fear with digging in here would be to come across a snake or a mouse.
call it a wrap for the day. We got a lot done. The beds are all cleaned out with the exception of the one that's right by the road. So that one we'll have to do at another time. Hopefully we get another nice weekend like we have this weekend that we can get in there and at least get all the annuals out. Uh, that bed was newly planted about a month or no, probably two months ago, Rod replanted that whole bed. So the plants are still pretty small in there and don't need a ton of trimming. We just want to get those annuals out though before the winter. If you have any questions or comments on fall cleanup, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, we like to do our fall cleanup in the fall because we just don't have time in the spring to get this done. Uh, so for us personally, this is the best time of year to do it. Uh, some people will say that they like to do their cleanup in the spring and that's perfectly fine. Do it when it's most convenient for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.